Hello, welcome to my channel, Aim to Alter, which will transform your life positively. In my last video, I talked about how you can improve yourself and progress in life. In today's video, I am going to tell you how you can stay motivated in the journey of success. Today, I will discuss a quote by Churchill. Success is not final. Failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. What do you understand by this quote? Do share it in the comments below. Well, how I can explain it is that every experience, whether positive or negative, is time-bound. As the time passes, we realize that every happening of life is temporary. It has to end. The action of time is to pass, and it will pass, whether good or bad. So never be too proud on your success, for this success can turn to a failure in no time if not maintained. Similarly, don't lament on your failure too much, for it is here to teach you something and will not stay long. Hope does not kill, but anxiety and fear does. So hope for the best and lead your life with courage. Look at your life right now. Whatever you have done up to this point in time of your life is working. Whatever you have produced, it came out of you as a result. It's a result of your choices. It's a result of your consciousness. Now, you have to ask yourself, are you satisfied with what you have produced? Is that what you want? Or would you like things to be better than this? And if you don't know what it is you have showed up to do, if you don't know why you are here, I encourage you to find out what is your purpose out there and what is the meaning of your life. Only then you can actually set goals for yourself. It is a natural inclination for us to put ourselves down. That is how we breathe the negative in us. God, the kind of things that you put in your mouth. See, if you don't program your mind, your mind will be programmed against you. Because human beings are goal-oriented, which is always leading to what's going on. Most of us live in quite desperation. Most of us go through life running scared. We don't pursue it better than what we are doing, if we are capable of doing even better. Explore the what to do is, because subconsciously we don't believe it can happen for us. And we don't believe that we deserve it. How much time do you spend every day working on your dream? How many books have you read? And last year, what new skill or knowledge have you acquired? What kind of investment have you made in you? Fear kills dream. Fear kills hope. Fear puts people in hospital. Fear can age you there, ladies and gentlemen. It can hold you back from doing something that you know within yourself that you're capable of doing, but it will paralyze you. Success does not require you to look out of the window. It only requires you to look in the mirror. The one person you need to be successful is looking right back at you. And if you're willing to make commitment to that person in the mirror, if you're willing to look at the person in the mirror and say, I make a commitment to you, from this day forward, whatever it takes, I'll do whatever it takes. Listen to me. I'm here to tell you to dance if you come here to jump on. You can do play. You can be exciting. Some of you need to give yourself up all because the time is spinning yourself. All could be used for your success. The time you could be using to be successful, that's why you're here. Take some seminars, workshop, read some books on how to manage your business. Change the way you see yourself and begin to attend the personal details. Understand that nobody is going to take care of your business better than you. Take the plunge, go into action, and ladies and gentlemen, you'll be surprised how things will come together. Success or failure will come and go. What is important that you continue to move on the road that can either leave you successful or make you a failure. It is important to have goals in life. It is important to plan in the direction in which you would like to go. Now, you don't know if you will fail in the pursuit or you may achieve it successfully. But at least you have the courage to move in some direction. You are ready to embrace uncertainty. You are ready to fall or rise depending on what fate has brought to you. This courage is what other people will admire in you because not everyone is willing to go on a journey that is so uncertain. Not everyone plans to see what is there for them. 
The determination to walk on the road will positively lead to success is what is required. It is our negative thinking that brings up hurdles for success and prolongs instances of failure. Hope for the best and just leave the rest. Don't forget to let me know your thoughts about the quote in the comments section below. In my next video, I'm going to be talking about the lessons learned from defeat or failure. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do it now. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you again with my next video.